Hi, great. How are you? I'm such a fan of, of this movie and, and of you. Thank um, you. I want to I want to talk about sequels though, because I I think about Godfather, Sister Act, a lot of movies that had sequels that were so great that they that they, they stand kind of alone, and I feel like this movie is one of them. When you look back among the films you watched or, or worked on, like what are some of your favorite sequels? Uh, well, yes, Godfather had some amazing sequels for sure. Star Wars had some amazing sequels for sure. Um, I, when I read the script for this, I thought they had done such a great job of finding a story that you, you know, it was such a solid story and really interesting time in Maverick's life. Um, I thought it was sort of the perfect moment to make this sequel. Um, and so I think this movie really works. It it's, takes all of that action uh, to another level and at the same time brings a lot of heart, I think. You have so many great shots. Like there's a shot where, where you have like the, the sunlight just hitting your hair right. There's one where you're sitting in front of the Porsche. Like how, how was it working with Joe as a director? It seemed like he found all these great angles and shots to like just, just like kind of magnify your character. Um, I'd worked with Joe before on a movie called Only the Brave, and um, I, I think he's a great director, and I think he is great at handling a movie of you know enormous scale and preserving those details that make it really make audiences really connect to it, you know, that keep it emotional and keep it personal. Um, so I think he's really great at that, and and is always looking for those just those little moments, you know, because in a movie like this, you have to be economical with it because there's so much story to tell. So you have to be able to find those little moments economically. I think he's great at that. I want to take you back to uh, another movie you did. I don't know, it's been a while now since my friend John Singleton passed, but can you tell me about getting involved in higher learning and how that, you know, like how, how that cast and meeting John Singleton and working with him was at, at that time? I'm not sure if I can remember back to the casting of it, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, we had a great time making that movie. Uh, I think it was a really interesting movie with some really interesting ideas that it explored. Um, and uh, yeah, he was a great filmmaker who passed too soon. Yeah, yeah. And last question, I know a lot of the the, uh, the actors, the, the new actors, Miles and all of them got to go and train and be in the plane. Did you ever get to go up in one of these jets at any time during the filming of this movie? I didn't go in one of those jets and got to pass on that training, which I was definitely okay with uh, when I heard the stories of what they endured, um, which I applaud them for. It was pretty amazing. And by the way, which adds so much to the movie, I think, what they did, you know, because you can feel that it's real. You can kind of feel what they're going through. Uh, I did go up in an airplane in this. Uh, it's a P-51, which is an old fighter plane. It happens to be Tom Cruise's personal plane because uh, he just happens to have one. And uh, and he was the pilot. So I went up with him in that. Thanks for the time, Jennifer. Can't wait to see all the other great projects uh, you do. And I've um, always been a fan since Higher Learning, before, way before Beautiful Mind, everything else. I've Thank you. I appreciate it.